Over 250 million people a year are affected by eye disease. And the healthcare practitioners' solutions today are all surrounding injections and some form of injections, obviously painful for patients, often creating risk of infection, and not necessarily creating great outcomes for people that have to go back every month and get injections. Langston, you've done a lot of research in this area. You're in the process of doing clinical trials for a solution that uses sound waves to solve this, uh, this eye disease problem worldwide. How does the solution work? Our platform basically utilizes ultrasound as a means to non-invasively deliver drugs into the eye. Uh, we see a huge and mad need in terms of the currency of the art. Um, actually, there are a huge portion of patients have been affording injections because injection itself is a very horrible process. Patients actually witness the needle being poked into their eye to get monthly treatment. So what we want to do is to give options to patients so they can choose from invasive treatment that has been done current days and now we have a new option of non-invasive treatment which still can get the drugs in but we take the needles away from the equation. And how much more effective is your solution versus the state of the art with needles? Currently all those preclinical evaluations have demonstrated very good safety profiles and we do see a very good efficacy performance which has equivalent efficacy compared to injection. So we are able to do as good as injection but not as painful as injection. And you're doing it with ultrasound, which is really something counterintuitive. Why do sound waves make a difference in the procedure? So to make it clear, while it's the same ultrasound that we've been hearing for scanning, we actually purposely choose a very specific spectrum of ultrasound, which is a different frequency. Then we can leverage it, one, as a force to get drugs through the eye, but without disturbing the eye tissues. And more importantly, for ultrasound that we use, we are able to leverage a symptom called a cavitation, which can enhance the diffusion of drugs into the eye. And what is the, going to be the roadmap then for commercialization from where you are today? So for now, we are actually completing our preclinical trials to make sure we have a very good safety profile and efficacy well demonstrated in all sorts of animal trials. Uh, we are looking into launching the clinical trials in 2020 in order to get all the safety data and the efficacy data to be done in all necessary trials. And in three or four years, we are looking to launch the product in primarily in China and US after getting the respective regulatory approvals. And that type of ultrasound uh, solution that's out there today, nurse practitioners don't require very much training to do that. What kind of training is necessary? For this to be rolled out widely? I think we'll pretty much like injection training, but in terms of uh, the stringency or the tolerance, we can actually have a higher uh, tolerance level in terms of how we can treat the IDCs and patients or nurses will be easy to pick up the new techniques because it will be very much similar to injection and the usual scanning device, but without having the invasive component in there, so it makes it even more safe to use.